What's up, everybody? It is Ryan Darks, and we're back with another video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Cole Haan Grand Pro Tennis Sneaker and Woodbury Hand Stain. Long sentence right there, a lot to remember, but I'm excited about this one. I've wanted some Cole Haan's for a little while now, so lucky to be able to talk about the shoe with you. Cole Haan, for of you that do not know, is a footwear brand that makes footwear for men and women. So they have a lot of different options as far as footwear. They have tennis shoes, they have oxfords, they have loafers, they have dress shoes. So a lot of different shoes from the Kohan brand that originally started in 1928 in Chicago. Education tip for you guys. Jumping out the box early with education for you guys today. But anyways, so Kohan headquarters, I found out are in New Hampshire and New York. Now, I've never heard of a headquarters in New Hampshire, so I thought that was an interesting fact. Obviously, it's been working out for the Kohan brand extremely well. So, as we get to the unboxing of the actual shoe, like I said, this is the Grand Pro Tennis Sneaker and Woodbury Hand Stain. The box here is a lot more narrow than I'm used to seeing in an actual shoe box. It's kind of a rectangular shape, more so to say. And it's a navy color. It's the Kohan branding at the top here. And then we have the Kohan Instagram there for you people that are fans of Kohan. Go follow them on Instagram. It's their Instagram tag right here. And then we have the Kohan website right here. So if you guys happen to, well, you will like these sneakers, then you can go on the website, order you some Kohans. So that's some information about the website if you guys want to have access to that. And then here we just have the size of the shoe, the name of the shoe and then the barcode. So as we get into the actual Kohan shoe, very nice brown color. Um, like I said on the website, they have it listed at Woodbury Hand Stain. They also have it in navy, black, and a white color. Um, I've never really got my hands on a nice brown shoe before, so I was excited to, to review these. But the leather is, it's a pretty simple leather in a brown color. Um, and then the sole here is an off-white. I love the laces here, the lighter brown laces. One reason I like the laces is because a lot of times laces get dirty very easily. With this darker color, it's going to help keep those laces cleaner for a lot longer. I love the stitching on here as well. It's very minimal. Not too much branding on here besides on the back here, as you can see. And then we have some branding here on the tongue, just a C8 sign. I also like the stitching on the shoe as well. It's kind of a minimal stitch there. As I get back into the sole here, I actually found out that, this is very interesting, that Nike actually imitated some of their soles from this Kohan shoe. So obviously we can tell that Kohan knows what they're doing when it comes to making shoes, especially these this nice and clean sole that we have here in this off-white color. Now, as I was saying, as we get back to the bottom here, so on the bottom of the shoe, we have the gum bottom at the bottom here, and as well as the top. And then in the middle here, we have that off-white color here coming down from the sole. The bottom is pretty smooth, but it has a little bit of a harder texture here, which makes it nice for walking and keeping traction when you're walking. So thought that was nice about the bottom of the shoe. I'm a big fan of the gum bottom. I always think that a shoe instantly elevates the way it looks when it has that gum bottom. A lot, I actually noticed that a lot of the shoes I have, or more so sneakers I should say, have this, this gum bottom here. So this always catches my eye when I see that, that gum bottom at the top there, or anywhere at the bottom of the shoe. This is the, the light weight of the shoe. Shoes weighs about nine ounces. It's extremely light. I heard reviews about it that it was an extremely light shoe, but you know it's different to actually see it and feel it for yourself. But this shoe looks, it's a lot lighter than it looks. I'll, I'll say that. It's, it's extremely light. On your feet, it's extremely light as well. You know that saying, walking on clouds? Well, that's what you get when you get with these, walking on clouds. You know what I mean? But very comfortable shoe. I love walking in them. Um, might not want to take them off. That's how comfortable they are. I might fall asleep in these one day. I don't know. But very light shoe. It's been, been crafted and made 
uh, at a great quality. I can tell they really paid a lot of attention when making this shoe. So uh, Kohan did an exceptional job with this one. As we get into the price, so on the Kohan website, you can expect to pay about 150. Now retail might be a little higher because you're getting the shoe right then and there and then wherever you're at with taxes, taxing might be different wherever you live it's from state to state. So website about 150, retail might be around 160 plus just depending on where you live, where you get it from. The sizing on these I would say are about a half size big. I'm usually a 10 and a half in shoes and a 10 fit me well in these, so something to take a note of when you're looking for these, maybe go a half size down for the proper fit. I love these shoes, I'm gonna be wearing them a lot. It's important to take care of them because as you guys can see, as I mentioned before, they offer a navy color and this is the navy color right here. But as you can see, I haven't even had these that long and they already started to crease right here, as you can see. Now I made the mistake of not putting shoe trees in them after wearing them a couple times and this is pretty much the result of that as you can see here but now I do have the shoe trees in them so it's going to kind of help this crease out a little bit but it's going to be a lot harder than if I just did it immediately after getting the shoe. Now as you can see with these brown shoes here they have not creased obviously. I have only worn these once but immediately once you wear them you got to put the shoe trees in them. It just helps them stay as nice as possible. It helps avoid these creases here. With the shoe trees in them they're going to keep looking like this. No creases whatsoever. They're going to keep looking brand new. Not going to be any you know marks on them here, creases here. Make sure to clean the white part when you can. So after each wear just be cautious of the this sole here, it is white, so it will get kind of dirty pretty easily. So that's something to be aware of as well when you're looking at the shoe or where you're wearing the shoe. Also, these are very versatile, so you can wear them pretty much anything. So jeans, shorts, let me be very specific with shorts because I know some people will misconstrue what I'm saying. Not workout shorts, okay? Nice shorts, like jean shorts, chino shorts, something like that, okay? Not workout stuff, sweatpants. They're just a much more elevated type of shoe than, you know, for like a workout attire. That's just not what these shoes are made for. You can wear them with even a suit. Look very nice with a suit. Nice collar shirt, polo shirt, button-up shirt, anything like that. They look extremely nice with. A lot of you guys, I know you're looking for a shoe when you go on a date. This is the, the solution to your problem right here. These Kohans will look great for a date. Anything like that look very nice with these Kohans. Um, pretty much any age could wear them. Anywhere from a 21 year old to I have an uncle who's in his 50s, looks great in them. I have a dad who's in his 70s, looks great in them. So. Wide range of ages will look great in this in the in these shoes. So um, you don't have to worry about anyone saying they're not for your age or don't look right with the age that you are. You'll look nice pretty much at any age wearing some shoes like this. So hope you guys got a lot out of the video, learned some things about the Kohan brand. I did. If you have already heard of Kohan, hopefully I was ed able to educate you a little bit more about the brand. You learned something new. Guys, make sure to give us a like and subscribe and comment. Helps me out a lot. Helps me be able to make more videos for you guys more consistently so we can have great conversations and keep learning as we are with each video. Be on the lookout for more videos to come. That's it for me today, guys. Appreciate you for watching. Thank you very much.